If you have ever used any AI tool like ChatGPT or Einstein AI, then you must be familiar with the word prompt. It is what you write in the text box and ask the AI to do for you. But do you know what goes on at the back end of these prompts? And how are AI tools able to understand them so easily? Let me help you out in getting the answer. Hello everyone, I'm Stray Sharma. Salesforce Hulk. Today, we are talking about something super exciting. A prompt builder in Salesforce. What is it? Why does it matter? And yes, I'll also be showing you a demo of record summary using prompt builder. So let's dive in. First things first, what is prompt builder? If you've been following Salesforce and the way it is expanding into AI, you've probably heard the term prompt builder come up quite a bit. Prompt Builder is a no-code tool inside Salesforce that lets you create, customize, and manage AI prompts for different use cases. Think of it as giving clear instructions to a large language model like Einstein GPT, but inside your Salesforce org. And without needing to be a prompt engineering expert, you can tell the AI, summarize this case for me. Draft an email based on this opportunity. Prompt Builder makes all of that possible by letting admins and developers define the input, structure the prompt, and test the output, all in one place. It brings practical AI inside your CRM, and that is exactly why you should know about it. Now here's the cool part. You can use Prompt Builder to automate tons of daily tasks like summarizing records or generating call notes. And Salesforce even provides standard templates, like record summary, field generation, flex template, and many more. So you're not starting from scratch, but using a template to build your prompt. These templates save time and make sure that you're following best practices, especially if you're a beginner. We'll look into these templates one by one in the following videos. So make sure you're subscribed to Salesforce Hulk and turn on your notifications. Now let's get to the important point, setting up Prompt Builder. It is actually easier than you might think. You don't need to be a developer, but you do need a few things in place. If you go to setup in your Salesforce org, you can try and search for a Prompt Builder. If you do not see it, that means you have not enabled it yet. Look for Einstein setup and turn the toggle on for Einstein first. Then global language support for prompt builder as well as deploy prompt templates. Once done, you will see the activation message pop up on your screen. To check, you can go back to quick search and find prompt builder. This time you will see that it is visible and ready to create new templates. Let's move on to the part you have all been waiting for, the record summary demo. Record summary is a standard prompt template that helps you in summarizing data. It can be cases, opportunities, accounts, or even contacts. To make it easier for you guys to understand, let's take a use case. Suppose you work at a car dealership named Autolux Motors that sells cars, books test drives, and manages service appointments. You want AI to gather a summary of a customer's records before a meeting with them. So to automate this process, we will use the record summary template in Prompt Builder. So to create a, a prompt template, we'll first go to Setup and write Prompt. Uh, over there, we'll find Prompt Builder. And uh, we'll click onto it. We'll choose the prompt template type as Record Summary and uh, we'll provide the name of the prompt template uh, as Salesforce Hulk. Salesforce Hulk's first record summary. And then we'll choose the object type as uh, vehicle customer. And then we'll just hit next. After hitting next, uh, we're going to, like the window is going to look like this. Uh, where you'll have to create the prompt template uh, where you're getting a prompt template work, workspace where you'll have to define the, uh, that how the response of the, a particular prompt should be provided if a record summary is asked as a prompt by the AI or by, by the user who's using the agent force as an AI. Uh, so whenever the user asks for a record summary, this is how the output should look, look like and these are the fields which should be provided as a response whenever a record summary prompt is pro uh, received by, uh, by a user. So we are adding different different fields over here. We're first adding a related vehicle brand. Uh, then we are adding the model. And then we are adding uh, all the related service uh, service appointment uh, history. And then we are adding the email email and the phone number of the uh, customer. And after that, uh, we are using the model type as standard and we are using OpenAI GPT-4 Omni Mini. And uh, in the preview, we are testing it uh, by 
adding a record name over it and hitting on preview so the response is going to look like this hey salesforce hulk here's all you need to know about your customer customer audi q3 premium plus email rahul.sharma at gmail.com this is the phone number and service history no records available that means there has been uh, no service history records that got created for this particular customer so now we'll go to this particular record of vci uh, 0001 and we'll hit the agent force on top of it like on top of the window and then we'll just uh, give prompt as summarize and uh, this is how the response is going to look like uh, and by the way, uh, we have already activated the prompt uh, template that we have created. So the response is coming uh, as like I mean as in as a as a I mean so, so the response is coming according to the custom prompt template that we have created rather than the standard one. Uh, so it says, "Hey, Salesforce, Hulk, here's all you need to know about your customer." Similar to the response that we got into the into the preview of uh, the prompt workspace. Also, customer already Q3 Premium Plus, no records available, email and phone number. Now, if we will uh, go back into the prompt template and uh, deactivate the uh, prompt that we have just created and again uh, go to agent force and uh, provide the same prompt as summarize, it will not use the custom template that we have created. Instead, it will use the standard template uh, that it has and it will provide the information as such, like, like this. The current record is about a customer named Audi Q3 Premium Plus. There are no service history records available. The contact details are as follows. There you go. So this is uh, how it, it is going to look like and this is exactly how you can create a record summary prompt template very very easily in Agent Force. And there you have it. The information you need perfectly summarized in just a click. That was the record summary in Prompt Builder. I hope you understood the process. Do let me know in the comments when you try it yourself. In the next video, we will explore field generation in Prompt Builder. So stay tuned. If you want to learn Agent Force and get hands on, check out the upcoming Agent Force training by S2 Labs. I will leave the link in the description below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like it and share it with someone who might need it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.